Hey there, and welcome to another Kidlet Lunch Critique. So today we have Denise Fisher's book, The Adventures of One-Eyed Teddy. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Denise. Um, we do have a little bit of an issue here with formatting right off the bat. And so I know that this happens very commonly whenever we are talking about stories and picture books, because we all wanna see like the illustrations and everything. But if you were to submit this, to um, you know, an illustrator even, but an editor, an agent, this would be instant rejection. And the reason is because this needs to be in a Word doc or a PDF, and it should only be, especially if it's a picture book, between three to five pages tight. I know that kind of sounds tricky, right? Because you're like, it's a 32 page book. How am I supposed to put it in the page turns? Well, there is an article on Journey to Kidlet. It's how to format your manuscript. Definitely go and check it out, guys, because that's going to be key to making sure that your submissions get through the first round, <laughs> making sure. But that doesn't mean we still can't take a look. So let's see what we have, because Denise is curious if it's too many words. Judging by the slide, I don't know exactly how many because um, it's not a Word doc, so I can't see. But Yes, I would imagine that this is way, way too many words because look at how much text is on a story page. Uh, when we are thinking about picture books and we're thinking about the, how much text goes on the page, we wanna be thinking in shorter increments. It shouldn't be a whole page worth of text. No one wants to read that. Parents don't wanna read that. Kids don't wanna sit around for that. So I would really, really recommend going and looking at other picture books and seeing what will work and what won't work when it comes to figuring out what's gonna work for your picture book story. So let's just read the beginning. We'll read page one to see uh, if this is even starting in the right spot to see how you can best cut down on your text. Pushing himself up on his front paws, Teddy sighed, listening carefully and sitting very, very still. He looked around Grace's bedroom. Things appeared fuzzy, but he could still see where he was. He raised one of his paws to his face and felt for the eye that was missing. It was still gone, he shuddered. Yesterday, Grace had carried a large, sleek black cat with bright golden eyes into the room. She said, Teddy, meet Sable. You two are gonna be best friends. Teddy smiled shyly at Sable, but Sable answered that smile with a defiant gleam in her eyes. Grace put Sable on the bed next to Teddy as she rushed out the door and called back, I'll see you both when I get home from school, have fun. Awesome. Actually, we have a lot that we can do with this page one. I think this is cool. This is such a fun uh, character concept. It's a blind cat, or at least a one-eyed cat. That's really fun. You do, though, have two different story ideas here, Denise. So I do think that it's going to be helpful when you're thinking about cutting down your story text to think about just the one story concept that you're trying to talk about. Is it about a cat who's losing his eyesight and is trying to grapple with this change? Or is it about a cat who has a new cat that's invaded his space and um, has to figure out this friendship, this new dynamic or whatever his goal is with the cat, you know, like to get rid of the cat, to become friends with the cat, to uh, kick the cat out, <laughs> whatever, the, whatever it is. So those are two separate story ideas. They will have two separate drivers, two separate plots, which means you cannot put them together in one book. It's going to get confusing. And in which case, in your case, it gets too long. It gets too long of a story because you're trying to tackle too many things. So that's what I would do. I would go back and I would think about what specifically is your is Teddy's goal here? Is his goal something dealing with the cat or is it dealing with the loss of his new eye, of his eye? And then um, restructure and reformat your plot from there. And then I would also read some current picture books to see how did they do their pacing? How did they shorten their sentences? How many words are on a page, all of those. Make sure it's within 2019 or newer um, because we're already in 2022. So that's four years worth of books. So um, try to get some of those newer books. Go to the bookstore and open them up, you know, browse the aisles or go to the library, check some out and just take a look at some books. But uh, he can still have one eye and do both stories. It just is the focus and the story focus because that's such a cool concept. I like having differences in characters. So great job. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It's so cute. I can't wait to see more of Teddy and his awesome adventures. 